Now, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the medical world just as we know it. And Kenya uh, is uh, no different from other countries. But we have uh, something that may change, maybe a game changer when it comes to pharmaceuticals in the countries. Square, uh, which is a Bangladeshi pharmaceutical multinational, is setting up a pharmaceutical farm that is worth 2.4 billion Kenya shillings. It's being constructed right here in Kenya. And now joining us is Square Pharmaceuticals Kenya Limited, Tapan Chondri, who is the managing director. Hi, Doc. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. And now, uh, kindly bring us up to speed. Where exactly will this facility be, be constructed? The the uh, factory building is almost ready. It is going to be near the export processing the near Arte. Uh, I, I hope this does the right pronunciation. <coughs> the river area there in the export processing zone. <coughs> now, what will be the impact of the facilities in improving of access to quality, uh, safe medicine in Kenya and the region? You know, last year uh, be, there was a BBC report and uh, that they quoted the World Health Organization's a report that 42 percent of the fake medicine uh, between 2008, uh, 13, and uh, 17 were from Africa. So that shows that uh, uh, because of the the porous border, you know, the, a lot of the fake medicine are and because uh, there's a scarcity of medicine. And Bangladesh being a very uh, successful country in terms of product, producing the, the products uh, from 2002. And it really surprised to know that 92% of the total consumption of Bangladesh medicines are being produced locally. And Square being the, the largest pharma company here, and uh, we thought that it's it's the high time that uh, if we set up a pharmaceutical and manufacturing facility there in Kenya, that we'll be able to address this issue there. And so that's going to be the really game changer in Kenya and as well as the Africa region, African region. Will this boost uh, access to affordable medicines in Kenya? And what type of medicines are we expecting the facility to be producing? That's what exactly, that's going, that is our strength, you know, to produce the, you know, the high quality products at a very, very competitive price. And we are pretty sure that it's going to be um, uh, affordable also. Uh, right now, number of our products are uh, available in Kenya market, and uh, but these, all these products are imported. Uh, but uh, you know, this is the challenge that we accepted, that, uh, and we strongly feel that no country can be you know, dependent only on the imported product, and especially an essential product like drugs and medicine. And having that in mind, that I uh, know that we have set up this interest so that we can make our products uh, uh, you know, available locally at an affordable price. That's the challenge there. And we are very confident about it. And then there are the products that will be referred to uh, the anti-malarial, you know, anti-diabetic, you know, the uh, CMA, the cardiovascular drugs, you know, and of course, the, the different kind of painkiller you know, uh, so this is the kind of drugs that will be, of course, and also the uh, that initially started is the um, uh, gel. It's called the uh, solid doses form in uh, capsule and tablet form, but soon the uh, liquid and injectable uh, products also, and at the same time we'll be manufacturing the antibiotics also. Are we expecting perhaps to see COVID vaccine?
Please, with time. Uh, sorry, we are breaking up, Hello? but if I understand I whatever the... Yeah, yeah I, 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 I... We are expecting to be seeing COVID vaccines with time. Uh, yes, yes, I will be very pleased to know that that uh, uh, we have already, you know, we have been selling a Rambisivir, Bulanapiravir, which is a new, uh, Bulanapiravir is a new, very new molecule for the COVID-1 and the Rambisivir also. But when you're talking about vaccine, it's a, it's a, a different list. Uh, but eventually, surely, that, that is also in our list. It's not only the uh, COVID vaccines, but, you know, other vaccines also, which are required for African markets. Indeed. And uh, when you look and when you talk about Kenya, we have an issue when it comes to um, sub, um, substandard, if I may use that word, drugs and uh, fake ones, if you ask me. And how are you working with regulators, perhaps Kenya Bureau of Standards, to ensure that what is in the country is quality drugs? Yes. Thank you for this very important uh, question. And uh, we are working really closely with the Kenyan Drug Authority, and that's a very big challenge there. And uh, and right now, I think they are struggling, and you know they are trying to prevent that. But it's it's not a very very tough job. It's uh, having the you know it also depend on the, the doctors, and uh, so we are in constant touch with them, with the regulators, and also some awareness uh, amongst the the common people, so that when they buy any product from the drug, they won't be they need to be. But I can tell you that, uh, that the products that we'll be selling, that it will it'll be with a special mark that one can easily find it out uh, through their cell phone also, you know, that why this product is manufactured. With all the with all the information that one can find it very quickly through their apps. So this is one of the guarantee that the, 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 the patients or the consumers will have from our site. But we clearly that will be, you know, will be, you know, uh, working very closely with the authority and share some of our an experience that how we also tackle this sort of problem. We others also have gone through this, uh, the fake medicine, also the, you know, the substandard medicine years back. But how we have overcome it, you know, so this sort of and. Um, uh, the Kenyan Authority also uh, will also be sharing our experience with the Kenyan drug authorities. And so is also our drug authorities. They are also very, very excited. And they are all they are also uh, agreed to share their expertise with the Kenyan drug authorities. Uh, my final question is 2.5 billion shillings facility right here in the country. How many Kenyans uh, will... Uh, get jobs there, and why did you choose Kenya? To start with, uh, around 700 and the Kenyan people uh, will be there, and as you know, this is uh, almost a different kind of uh, product, it's a white collar job. Uh, so, uh, it is our uh, responsible also, we, we, we feel that when we start up an industry there in Kenya, our first target would be to employ the the local people and the local talented. So we would need number of uh, pharmacists, chemists, engineers, and uh, already we have a couple of them in the industry uh, in our in, uh, in our setup. So, but we we'll, you know we will be recruiting more. Uh, the second question that the reason that why we have decided. It's a very business friendly, the policy the Kenyan government has, which is, and also the repatriation of the, the, the profit, which sometimes in many countries is very difficult. But we want to reinvest, you know, we want to, we want to grow uh, with, with your success with the, the economy also. And we strongly feel that Kenya can play a very vital role in not only in Kenya, the you know when you produce locally but in other african countries even in the, in the 
in the regulated uh, markets and also even in the de- developed countries. Like, like uh, currently, we are exporting our products to many of European countries, U.S., you know, uh, South American countries. So we want to use the same facility. We want to use this facility also for for exporting to other countries also, which is also a condition in uh, in our manufacturing license. Indeed, uh, thank you so much, uh, Tapan Chondri, who is the MD of Square Pharmaceuticals Kenya. They are giving us an insight of the new facility, 2.5 billion shillings that will be constructed in Machakos right here in the country. 700 youth will get job, and he says they have plans to enlarge the facility, which will also uh, cater for needs of other countries as they will be also exporting drugs right here from, uh, from Kenya.